I want to point out a little bit of irony here. So Arkansas is the latest state to pass religious freedom laws. Of course on Facebook, after each state, state does this, all the people come out the woodworks and call them bigots and what have you. So going to the Arkansas governor's page, I wrote a little response to this. Instead of hopping on the bandwagon and calling people names, maybe you should look at the issue from a lawmaker's perspective. You have a lesbian couple that forced a baker to bake them a cake against his religious wishes. He had served them countless times before in the very same shop. But when it came to baking a wedding cake, he refused on the grounds of religious reasons. Huge lawsuits were brought against him and ultimately he faced bankruptcy and was forced to bake the cake completely ignoring his religious freedoms. But wait, there's more. What went unreported were the very same stories repeated across the land where businesses simply shut down, all the while ignoring people's religious freedoms. Regardless of whatever names you call people, money is the most important issue in America. You can't have a country in 2015 not have money. And while everybody wants to wants everyone to have nice feelings, you can't have business businesses closing. And yes, it wasn't just one business. These politicians see the writing on the wall. If they don't do anything, they will have ghost towns all around their state. Now, you can jump on the bandwagon all you want and call them haters, bigots, complete, completely misused words here, all you want when it is the bigot that ignores a person's religious rights. That's some irony right there. Or you can step back and get real. Do you want all businesses being closed? I bet 90% of you aren't even remotely gay, don't have a dog in this fight, and it's not even legal for gays to be married in most of these states, which means baking a cake for this is illegal too. While you're being evil to these business owners, thank them for the road you rode your high horse in on to come yell at them because they paid the taxes to keep your cities going and hired most of you and put food on your table. That's irony. And the truth of the matter is, I think this is all staged. And staged by, you have that first case go through and this is how legal precedent is set. So you have a sympathetic judge, although it was completely illegal and they said it was illegal, and they even had a law in the state that said that you could not do that, meaning it was on the baker's side, they still went ahead and made a decision even against the law, even citing the law in the case. After that case was decided, then that entire scenario exploded around the country, right? It, it created incentive for people to do that. I guarantee you probably some of them weren't even gay whatsoever. It was just staged. It was all staged. Now, are we all being set up here? I think we are. And here is the crux of the matter. There's already, there was already a federal law way before this that said that the, the government can't be a party to something that infringes upon the religious freedoms of its citizens. And who is the government? The government is a city, a state, the federal government. Now they're reiterating this in each of the states. There's all the way 20 something states already passed a further regulation on this that you cannot do that. You cannot go into some shop and say, we want you to break your religion because business people still have religious freedoms too. They're citizens, they're private citizens. You have the power not to go into their bakery or what have you. You have a, the power to boycott. They tried to boy, boycott Chick-fil-A. They tried to boycott that particular bakery and that backfired. And then it went to lawsuit. Everybody in that community said that that baker was the nicest guy since sliced bread. You know, just awesome, an awesome guy. And they would not boycott him. It was like, you know, it was like calling, uh, although it's completely wrong, Mother Teresa evil, although she is evil or was evil. But the problem is businesses were closing. Some were closing simply to avoid litigation and liability. Others were closing because they were run out of business because they could not afford the litigation. And I think that is what you call bullying. And you cannot have businesses being run out of business in your state or in your city. It's businesses that pay all the taxes. It's not you. 
I know you complain about your taxes, but it's not you that pays all the taxes. It's the business that keeps your city running. And they have to make a statement that, hey, we welcome business in this state. You want to talk about rights? You can't step on somebody's rights and then say you've won. You you have the upper hand. You have the moral high ground because you don't. It's evil. Thank you for watching. Shikamalashim.